Hello and welcome to Pattern Making with Lip Morris. Um, today we are going to make a pattern for this dress. It's a evening dress. You can even make it into a day dress, but we're going to do it as a long evening dress. Um, as we can see, we've got like a, a roll collar around the front of the neck and it's got... Um, also coming over towards the back so that's the collar that we're going to create today and um, it's got panels down the front um, we've got a, a long sleeve it's got a slit on the over the arm near the cuff of the um, sleeve and um, we've got some darts in the back we've got a zip in the back and we've got this flounce that we're going to put in there it's also called a godet so we're going to put that in and um and this is what we're going to create it's a lovely dress it's simple nothing um complicated but it's very elegant when it's done um i'm going to be putting up um how well not how the collar is done i'm going to assemble the collar and you can have a look at it um i'm going to post that um, after we've done the pattern at some stage so I hope you're ready to join in um, and you have your pencil your paper if you want to take notes um, please do so or you can go back and um, just look over the video see how it's done I just want to welcome any new um, persons that's um, watching for the very first time welcome and I hope you will enjoy this and not only enjoy it, but you're able to create for yourself. So that is the design that we're going to be doing. Now you need your blocks. Um, we're going to be using the front and back and the sleeve to create this pattern. Because um, as you're journeying along with me, you realize that I do everything from blocks. So you need to have your blocks ready. And your paper, your pencils, your tape measure, um, your scissors, whatever equipment that you need to create this dress. And those are some of the, th the main um, tools that you need. So as I'm just sharing, you can um, get your bits together and then we can begin very shortly. But just before I go on any further, I just like to say... Thank you all for watching and don't forget to share, tell somebody about this, um, these lessons that um, I've been posting and also don't forget to comment. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe so, you know, you can always um, see when I've posted some, something um, up. If you're not in the group, please join the group. And you will get um, all the designs of the patterns that I do on or in the group when you're in the group. And also when once you're in the group, I also um, give a treat um, for those who um, are really interested. I'll put a few question up, whether it's true or false questions. And, you know, um, anyone who gets it right will get a gift. And so let's see how we get on. So I want to thank you once again and continue to watch because I'll be always um, posting something up. Um, we're coming up to the Christmas season. I will not post anything during the month of December or January because I'm going to have a rest. And I hope you will have a rest as well and keep safe. So here we go. This is a little number that you can um, make your pattern for it, you know, for Christmas. If you go out, we don't know, we're not allowed to go anywhere much. But you can still dress up in it in, indoors and um, feel great. So here we go. If you come along with me, now we're going to be doing, we're going to start on the front section here. And then we're going to go through the back. And then we're going to do the collars. Um at the end, we'll do the collar last and then we'll do the sleeve after we've done the front and back of this dress. So here we go. 
Um, first of all, as I said, you need your um, your blocks. I've got them out and I've pre-marked them out because this is where you start. We mark off the blocks and after we mark the blocks off, we're ready to go. So there we go. I can take the blocks off. Everything has been transferred onto your new sheet and you can take that off. You've got your darts in both the front and the back. So those are your pieces. And I've also traced off the sleeve block because we're going to need that. But we can put that up on the other side. What well, one side we can start. I'm going to start off on the front. So I put the back away. And I've already marked on the style features that I want on um, this garment. Um, we're going to have a panel along the front going down and I've already connected to the darts and I'm going to extend it down to the hem. You've got to decide on the length you want. If you want it uh, a full length dress, normally it's like 40 inches down from the waist um, to get it right to the floor, depending on how tall you are, but you have to take your measurements for that. Okay, so we're going to start to create the front and what I've done here I've marked on the neckline that I want, which is here. I've taken it back um, towards the end of the shoulder. Um, you can make it like about two inches, an inch and a half from your shoulder and you put a mark, you measure in, and then I'm gonna connect it. I've dropped it down. You can drop it down about three inches, four inches, and then I'm collecting the line all the way around, which I've drawn on there. Now, I'm going to start to make my pattern, but before I start, I don't want this dart here. So I'm going to get rid of that dart and I'm going to put it into the seam here so that we can get a good, clean fit. No rolling, no pulling, no dragging, because it's so important that we create our blocks with, with darts in because they're the suppression that we need because we have a bust. So we must get the suppression to give us a clean fit that we don't have any rolling and pulling and dragging. So I'm going to transfer that dart into this seam because we don't want the underarm dart in our style. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue this line all the way down to my hem from the end of the dart because that is my panel. So from the end of the dart, I'm going to draw a line straight down to the bottom of my skirt to that the end of the dart like that so now this is the line i've already extended the line from the end of the dart all the way up you can keep that straight but i've given it i've, sh I've shaped it a little bit but you can have it straight if you want so i'm going down this line this line along here to the hem and that is the first section that i'm going to copy off so if i just shade that in i'll get some colored um, pencil out so that we can see where we're going so this is the section that i'm going to take off first here up to there and then after that i'm going to shade it in i'm going to do that section here which is the side section of the dress so you can see that clearly now, that's better. So what I'm going to do on a new sheet of paper, I'm going to trace off that section. So I'm gonna use a new sheet, I'm gonna fold it because I want to have that center front on the fold. So I'm gonna place that up to the fold edge and I'm going to copy that off from this section here. So if I get the tracing wheel, because you need your tracing wheel to trace off, or you can lay the, the fresh sheet of pattern paper on top of your blocks and then trace it off. So I'll come along that line and I'm going to come along that line and all the way down. See, the, it's no use you um, if you try to make these style and you just uh, mark them out like that without using your block or using your your dart suppression then when you come to make up and come to fit it you won't get a good fit 
you will get lots of dragging. So it's important that we have our darts in our block. So what I've done is that's the bust point there. That's the waist. And I'm going to just connect up the line that I've traced off all the way down to the waist and give it a nice curved round into there. Follow that and then up to the bust point like that. Trace it off. And then I'm going to come around back to the neck area. So with your French curve, you can just curve that line in if you kind of do a nice curve by yourself. And this is your neckline here. And all we do now is just add your seam allowance. We only need a quarter of an inch around the neck. Along there, we need a centimeter down these areas here. Because these are your panel seams so all you do is just follow the line round follow the curve round all the way round into your waist and then back out again and up around the bust area and you're going to curve that round and as you curve it round you just follow that shape round back up to the neckline like that like that and then with your curve you just curve those lines in that's your bust area and with your curve you can do the waist that way and extend your line and then at the bottom we're just going to do a centimeter hem you can do a two centimeter if you want but we're just going to do a centimeter um, a centimeter at the bottom on there so that is your front so that is now your front um, section of your dress so you're going to write on here cut one front and you can put center front there and then when we cut out and open out we um, put our grain line on so I'm just going to put a, a notch halfway between the waist and the hem which is roughly about there and those are balance line so once we've got that we're just going to go on and we're going to trace off the side bit but what I like to do is to put my grain line which is parallel from the center front out so I'm just going to draw my grain line on which is parallel like that and then I'm going to place that on another sheet of paper which I've got underneath and once again, I'm going to trace that off. I'm going to put the grain line in first. And then from that same line here, but I'm going to go around the other side like that. And down there to the bottom. And I'm going to go around the hem and up the sides like that. Make sure you've got your wasting i'm going to put that dart in because i need to transfer that dart into the seam so once i've got that i'm going to mark all the way and i'm going to mark along the neck area here that i've got like that so once i've got that and i've got my dart position in because i'm going to transfer that dart into the seam i'm going to take that away i'm going to put the grain line on because i need to follow that through and I'm going to put my dart here because I'm going to get rid of that dart. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'll just straighten up my line. Take it, follow it round the shape that you've got. And you come into your waist area. And you go up to your bust point, And then you come round to your neck where you've got that shape. And then you mark your neckline in. So once you've got that, we're just going to cut out that shape, get rid of the dart, and we're going to mark that out again. So I'll just do that so that you can see. And then once we've got that, so we cut out on that shape that we've just transferred off the draft that we've made. So we're going to come along that line here, like that going to put that on the side so now this is the side bit we're going to cut along the shoulders we're going to cut along the neckline 
along there. I'm going to follow that shape all the way around the armhole. We cut that away like that. And this is very important that we're able and know how to um, manipulate the darts, to take the darts away. And we, I'm going to put a notch there for the waistline. And we just take it all the way down to the hem, the bottom, to the length that you um, require and cut across the bottom. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut on one of these lines. It doesn't matter which one, like that. I'm cutting along that one. And I'm going to um, close it. See, I'm going to close the dart. As I close it, it's going to go into that seam there. So I'm going to close that like that. I'm going to, um, um, what are we going to do? Use some prick stick I'm going to use, or you can use sellotape. I'm going to just stick that down back into there. So I've got no more side darts, but the dart has been transferred into the seam that we've got that we've got along here. So the suppression of the dart is in here to give us a nice lovely fit. So once again now I'm going to draw a straight line on my paper because that's going to be used as my grain line. And I'm going to place this grain line here on top of that so I know that my pattern will be straight after I've finished making it. So once your grain line's on top of grain lines you then we then mark along the bottom the whole shape we're going to mark along can put the waist dart in and we're going to mark along there and we also come along the neckline like that and then we continue a down down this front side panel here and up the side here like that and then what we do is we can take that off and then we can now add our seam allowance on because we've got no seam allowance anywhere. Put that notches. This is going to be our grain line. And all we do is just add our seam allowance on, on each piece. We've got centimetre on there. We put centimetre around the arm hole, centimetre there. And a quarter on the neckline and centimetre down there. And then... We're going to be checking to make sure that once we've got the seam allowance on, on each piece, that each piece matches before we cut out our shape. So we've got to make sure that these shapes are matching and we get nice smooth lines around. So we've got a quarter of an inch around the neck here and we're going to have a centimetre going on around the armhole and then come up the side a centimeter as per usual because we don't know we don't want bulky seams so a centimeter is enough for us to use along the side centimeter along there centimeter along there so we get nice lines and then finish off We've got a centimetre on there. And then what we do is we're going to write on their side. And we're going to cut two of those for the side. And then before we do anything, we've got to check with the centre front that we have um, created before that the seams are matching. I'm, I'm just cutting that out so that we can... Um, we can line it up to make sure that the match they match the panel seam so that is the panel that goes onto there and it stitched onto there like that and then it comes to there and it match exactly along there so you're all right all ready to cut out so you can that's your center front and if you open it out after we put the notches in we then put our grain line on here 
So that is your center front and that is your green line. So you can fold that back in, put your notches in there, there and there, and they have to correspond from there to there and from there to there. So that's your notches. And then we're gonna put a notch halfway between the waist and the bottom for the side, round about there. So those are the two pieces that we need for the front. So we're gonna take a break now and then we're gonna come back and then we're gonna go on to the back section.